Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about open carrying rifles. Okay, now we're not talking about open carrying pistols, we're talking about open carrying a rifle. Um, you've probably seen this pop up a couple of times in news where you have some guy walking to a department store or, or, a, um, or some type of shopping center or a supermarket and he's got an AR-15 over his back and uh, basically he's getting a lot of attention. Okay? Um, but first of all, I'm going to say I support open carry. Okay? I think it's great, um, specifically because open carry protects concealed carry. Okay? Um, you know, I typically carry concealed, um, but without open carry protection, if I were to, let's say, bend, lean over or bend over to pick something up and my gun became exposed, you know, um, all of a sudden I might be, um, uh, you know, somebody might accuse me of brandishing. Okay? Uh, so because, you know, I'm in an open carry state, if my gun were to accidentally become exposed, okay, uh, nobody can say you're brandishing because basically it's, a ca it's an open carry state anyway, okay. Uh, so, so that's why I think that open carry is really important. But what we're talking about here, when we're talking about open carrying rifles, um, we're talking about something entirely different. We're talking about uh, somebody going out to make a point, okay, and, and the, the point is that basically they can do it, you know, and, and it's their right and, and so forth. So, so that's the point. Now, um, I don't think it's a good idea, okay, and, and the reason is because what they're doing is, when they're doing something like that, they're getting out ahead of the rest of us, okay, um, what do I mean by that, okay, so, uh, as you guys know from my channel, I do I do a lot of medieval combat, you know, full armor combat for powerful speed, uh, so a lot of times I'm, I'm a shield man on a shield wall, okay, so if I'm on a shield wall, right, you know, we're all lined up, you know, shoulder to shoulder, shield to shield, right, all right, and uh, we're all we're all depending on each other uh, for defense, okay? Um, and the fact that we're all working together makes us more effective as a unit. So if I got one guy in this unit that he decides that he's gonna break ranks and go out and and, 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 and you know basically harass the other side, okay? What's probably gonna happen is that he's gonna get killed, um, you know, basically taken out of the battle. Um, and now you know, first you know he's. He's out of the fight, and we're down a man, okay? And and you can draw the same conclusion if we're talking about modern-day combat. Um, you know, if we're in a particular formation, right, we're using a, a wedge formation or, or an echelon formation or, or, or whatever, and you have one guy that decides that he's going to leave his position to go out, way out, you know, behind enemy lines and, and harass the enemy. Well, now, again, he's going to get either killed or captured, uh, in which case... He's out of the fight, okay, um, and we're down a man on our side. So, so he's not being effective, uh, and and by him getting out, of, you know, uh, uh, getting getting out in front of the rest of us, he's making us less less effective. Okay, so open carrying rifles basically does the same thing. Okay, um, if you have somebody that's open carrying rifles in in a store, okay. Um, it has the opposite effect of what we want. It does not show strength, okay? Uh, because w when you look at images, right, of somebody open carrying rifles uh, in some type of a, uh, you know, let's say public setting, a supermarket, whatever, okay, what do you typically see? You see one guy open carrying a rifle, and he's surrounded by 10 cops that are questioning him, okay? That's not a position of strength, okay? That's a position of weakness, okay? So you got this guy in the middle surrounded by cops, uh, you know, and he's basically like, you know, keeping his hands away from his body. He's not making the slightest motion, uh, to, you know, to, to, to touch his rifle, um, you know, because he knows that he's going to get killed. Okay, you know, if if he if he if he even seems like he's threatening in the least, you know, in, you know, in any way. Okay, so 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 he's in a an extreme position of weakness. Okay, um, if you want to make um, a point, all right, the right way to open carry rifles. Okay. Uh, is you organize with a lot of people, and it's been done before. It's been done, you know, on several occasions, right? You know, you you, you know you, all, you 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 get together with some group, right? Or become part, let's say, even whether it be the NRA, GOA, the, the three percenters. There's there's a lot of groups out there. So you get together with a lot of people, all right? Um, and you basically you uh, you know you organize a demonstration, okay? Either at your state capital or you know or wherever, wherever you think it will be most effective. Um, but you get together with at least 500 people, okay, preferably a thousand or two thousand people, okay. Now open carrying rifles, okay, because now that's different, okay. 
Because now, when the cameras come in, you know, they're, they're looking at the situation, what they're showing, okay, is they're showing, um, you know, about a thousand people with rifles and some 20, 30, maybe 50 uh, cops um, that are pretty nervous, okay? Um, so now that's demonstrating strength, okay? So that's my, that's my, uh, my position on this, this is my opinion. If you're, if you're open carrying by yourself, okay, um, you know, to make some type of a point, okay, it's another thing if you're doing it, you know, because you need to, you know, uh, like, like if you're open carrying because, um, you know, whatever, you, you know, you, you started off carrying a handgun concealed and, and, and something happened where you lost your jacket or whatever, and now you just have, you know, that, that's a whole other story. But what I'm talking about is a situation where you are open carrying a rifle, right? You know, a big rifle um, in public solely for the purpose of, of making some type of statement, okay? okay? The only statement that you're making uh, by doing this by yourself um, is, is, that, is, is that you're weak and that you're by yourself, okay? You are by yourself um, and, and, and that's a position of weakness, okay? Um, if we look at the Second Amendment, okay? Um, and, and at the time that the Second Amendment was written, okay, um, you know, government still had more powerful weapons. I mean, yes, it was legal for people at that time to own cannons, okay? Individuals could own cannons when the, when the Second Amendment was, was written. Uh, but by and large, because they were so expensive, um, you know, only the government or, or whether, you know, mostly state governments, but only the government or, or, or um, you know, government troops, you know, had cannons, okay? So, so individuals basically had muskets at the time. The strength was that there was a lot of them, okay? That was their true strength. It wasn't that they had more powerful weapons than the government. It's that they had a lot more weapons than the government because, you know, uh, the citizens will always outnumber the government, okay? So the same exact things apply today, you know, um, and you will often hear the argument, well, what is your AR-15 going to do against a dictator's tanks, airplanes, nuclear missiles, cruise missiles, all that nonsense? You hear this argument all the time, okay, and our strength is in numbers, okay, there's a lot of us, okay, we are everywhere, uh, we surround them, um, in, in that type of a situation, they wouldn't be able to, to get food, water, uh, fuel because we are everywhere, okay? Um, you know, they wouldn't be able to sleep at night, okay? Um, there is no place where, where a dictator and his his people um, would find, uh, you know, would find any rest, okay? Because we're everywhere. So, so that's our strength. Our strength is showing in numbers. We have these, these puny little rifles, but there's a lot of us, okay? So that's what we want to demonstrate. We want to demonstrate numbers, okay? Um, so, 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 open carrying in a supermarket with a rifle uh, where you find yourself in a situation where you're surrounded um, you know by 20 or 30 cops does not show strength okay um, open carrying at a demonstration where there's a thousand of us or two thousand of us okay and then we vastly outnumber um, you know um, you know police or whoever they send over there to keep an eye on us you know us us um, overwhelmingly outnumbering them and that's a position of strength that's the right time to open carry rifles, okay? So, there are my thoughts on this. Uh, if you guys like this idea, if you like my thoughts, please uh, please share them. You know, give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, sharing sharing these videos really helps a lot because um, aside from, from reaching out to people that might normally not look at channels like this, um, you know, you know uh, aside from that, what also happens is the more you share this video, the more it tends to come up as a suggested video. Uh, so if you like this video, you know, you know, share it someplace on some social media, um, you know, wh wherever you wherever you uh, go, whether it's Facebook or something else, share it somewhere because it will help other people see it. So like I said, if you like this video, share it, and if you're not a member of my channel, subscribe. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time.